Hi friends, welcome back. Welcome to a very important PYQ analysis of environment. Today we are going to study all the questions which have come on the topic of mangroves in the last 30 years. Guys, along with the PYQs, I am going to brainstorm this topic of mangroves. This topic of mangroves is very important in this year's prelims examination. Guys, let us begin. My name is Santosh Pandey. I have the unique distinction of cracking the UPSC prelims examination six out of six times. You can see some of my scorecards. I have scored very high marks in the UPSC prelims examination. In the last couple of years, I have helped thousands and thousands of aspirants in cracking the UPSC prelims examination. Guys, I have the expertise of predicting what UPSC will ask in the prelims examination. And in the last couple of years, I have been predicting more than 30, 40 questions every year. So if you want these questions, please do join this Telegram channel every day for free. I publish daily current affairs and important current affairs question in my Telegram channel. So guys, let us begin. So guys, what I have done is that I have collected all the questions which have come on this topic in the last 30 years. But before that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick brainstorming of the topic of mangroves. What are the various dimensions on which UPSC has asked questions or UPSC will ask questions in the future? So guys, the very first dimension is the ecological adaptation of mangroves. Guys, we all know mangroves survive in a very unique ecosystem of saline waters, of saline waters. So what are the various adaptations which help mangroves to survive in saline waters? That is the first dimension you need to prepare. Second, you need to prepare the distribution of mangroves in India and distribution of mangroves in the world. Particularly distribution of India is very, very important. Already UPSC has asked a question on this. Next, the ecological role of mangroves. What are the various ecosystem services which are provided by mangroves? Very, very important because of the increasing climate change. Because of the increasing climate change, you need to prepare what is the interlinkage between mangroves and climate change. And related to this, the concept of blue carbon is very important. Guys, the theme of carbon sequestration is one of the most favorite themes of the UPSC. Every year we get a question on carbon sequestration. You can see in the last three years, every year UPSC has asked a question on carbon sequestration. So this theme of blue carbon is also very important. Last but not the least, which is the emerging theme, is the national and international efforts to preserve mangroves. Guys, government of India has come out with various schemes to preserve mangroves. And at an international level also, government of India is collaborating with other countries and coming out with various initiatives to protect mangroves. So this is a very, very important. I'm predicting that this is going to come this year or in the coming years in the UPSC prelims examination. Do note this video. So guys, let us start. The very first question we are going to see from prelims 2011, the tsunami made people realize mangroves can serve as a reliable safety hedge against coastal calamities. How do mangroves function as a safety hedge? So guys, mangroves protect the human habitation from the coastal surges or the cyclones because mangroves do not get uprooted because they have very extensive roots. Mangroves are trees with very extensive root system, which basically help them to withstand the cyclones, tsunamis, and other kinds of uh, other kinds of disasters and they protect the human habitation on the coastal areas so this is a very very important aspect of mangroves which you need to prepare guys you can also be asked questions on ecological adaptation of mangroves ecological adaptation of mangroves how mangroves are able to survive in the saline waters okay next what is blue carbon? Carbon captured by ocean and coastal ecosystem is called blue carbon here. The role of mangroves in blue carbon is very, very important. Next, you can see match the following. They have given mangroves and they have given states. So guys, these are very important mangroves in India. What we will do is that I have prepared a list of mangroves. You can see Sundarbans, one of the largest mangroves in India. It is in Bang uh, West Bengal. Then we have Urissa. In Urissa, we have Bhitar Kanika, which I told you very, very important. Then we have the Mahanadi. Then we have the Subarnekha. Then we have the Devi. Then we have the Dharma. Then we have the Mangrove Genetic Resource Center. Then we have the Chilka Lake. In Andhra Pradesh, we have mangroves in Koringa, very, very important. 
and in Krishna Godavari Basin. Then in Tamil Nadu, the most famous mangroves is Pichavaram, then we have Muthupet, then we have Ramnand, then we have Pulikat Lake, then we have Kaju Valley. Pulikat Lake is a very important topic in the UPSC prelims examination. A lot of questions have come on Pulikat Lake. In Andaman and Nicobars, we have the North Andamans and we have the Nicobar. In the Kerala, we have the Vembanad Lake and we have the Kannur. In Karnataka, we have the Kundapur, very, very important. We have the Kundapur mangroves, which is very, very important. Then we have the Karwar, then we have the Dakshin Kannada, and then we have the Mangalore Forest Division. In Maharashtra, we have the Archa Ratnagiri, very, very important, Archa Ratnagiri. Then we have the Devgar, we have the Veldur, we have the Mumra Devi, then we have the Vikroli in Mumbai, then we have the Vaitrana, then we have Vasai, then we have Malwan. Okay, and in Gujarat, we have Gulf of Kutch, Gulf of Kambat, and Dumas. Now let us see this question. Now you can answer this question. Achra Ratnagiri, it is in Maharashtra. Kundapur, it is in Karnataka. Pichavaram, it is in Tamil Nadu. Okay, Vembanad, it is in Kerala. So you have to match it, A, B, C, D, you have to match it, you can easily do it. Okay, so this list is very, very important. Do save this video. This is a very, very important list which you need to prepare. Coming to this question, which asked in 1995, you can see, monoculture of commercially viable trees is destroying the unique natural profile of, okay, what? Thoughtless exploitation of timber, deforestation, vast tracts of palm cultivation, destruction of mangroves. You see, destruction of mangroves. So this is an ecosystem which is called Sundarbans. Okay, Sundarbans is the largest mangroves in India. Very, very, very important. Next, you can see, if you want to see gharials in their natural habitat, which of the following is the best place? So here the answer is the Chambal River. Here the answer is Chambal River. But you see, they have given Bhitar Kanika mangroves also. They have given Bhitar Kanika mangroves also. Bhitar Kanika mangroves is the most famous option. Is the most famous option which is used in the UPSC prelims examination. So you need to prepare Bhitar Kanika mangroves. You can see Bhitar Kanika mangroves. They are situated on the eastern coast of India, on the eastern coast of India, state of Odisha, Kendrapara district. There are three rivers which flow into the Bhitar Kanika mangroves, Brahmani, Vaitarani, Dharma and Patsala. Bhitar Kanika mangroves has the largest population of the salt water crocodile, endangered salt water crocodile. Guys, there is a Gahir Matha beach, there is a Gahir Matha beach where we have the Oliver Ridley turtle okay, nesting. Very, very important. Gahir Matha Beach. It is also a very famous question in the UPSC prelims examination. Guys, this uh, there is a marine sanctuary also. Guys, Bhitar Kanika is the second Ramsar site of Odisha. It is the second largest mangroves after the Sundarbans in India. And I told you it is one of the famous place of the Oliver Ridley turtle nesting also. So very, very important. So this Bhitar Kanika is very, very important. Save this. This I have prepared the table for all the important mangrove, uh, mang, uh, all the important protected areas in India. You can get this table list. Okay, from our okay lecture series. Okay, next we can see here which what is unique about Kharai camel, Kharai camel. Okay, Kharai camel. Okay, so in this question also you see mangroves coming. So Kharai camels they basically survive on mangroves. Kharai camels they survive on mangroves. So this can be also a probable question in coming. Which are the species which are surviving on mangroves? Which are surviving on mangroves? Okay. So uh, like you see, this is how you have to prepare for guys in our lecture test series. What I have done is that I have analyzed the PYQs and then I have analyzed the current affairs and doing the PYQ analysis and the current affairs analysis, I have prepared the hit list topic. I have prepared the hit list topic and in that hit list topic, I am giving the test, if you solve this test, your probability of clearing the UPSC examination will be very high. The link is given in the description. Please do like the video if you consider it good. And if you want me to continue making such incisive videos for the UPSC prelims examination.